Hi guys! My name is Dr. Rocker. My name is Rogan. And we are... Wild 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 I know I haven't uploaded for quite some time. <laughs> what? What are you saying? <laughs> because of this dude mostly. <laughs> he doesn't want to go to kindergarten, so I have to keep an eye on him. It's crazy. Lawrence. Do you want to go to kindergarten? No. Would you like to go to kindergarten today? No. Would you like to go to kindergarten tomorrow? Oh. No. Would you like to no. go... No kindergarten. No. But we still will do a video today, right? No. Yes, we will. No. Ah. No. So, let's get a piece of paper. So we have a piece of paper, but what shall we draw today? Vegeta! Vegeta! Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray. All I need are some better days Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, have to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate Better change my mindset, meditate It's pretty cool that I'm alive in that better days I could walk, see here I should celebrate, think I could change my mind, maybe elevate Living life, every day, late at night, not okay All I want, and I pray, all I need, are some better day Okay, so here we have the base drawing Do you like it, Lawrence? Yo! If he likes it, then everything is good Now I will use my knitted eraser to tone everything down and then I will use my 2B pencil with whom I also drew everything so far um, to do the line weight. So let's do that guys. To prevent smudging I start on top of the drawing right there. Less pressure to more pressure so I will have more dynamic in the line already. Not just the thickness, but also the lightness, because it's it will be in pencils only, which means uh, I can use the value of the pencil even in the lines. When you use the edge of the pencil, you can even do some very thin lines. All with the same pencil, you just need one pencil. In this case, it's a 05 Stettler mechanical pencil, but the brand is not important at all. It's just a mechanical pencil, like a trillion other words. And in my case I also try to keep it very loose. So uh, I try to draw fast and remove the stick from my arse to get some fluid movements and uh, thus bring more, bring more life into the drawing. I think that's very important. And I see that on a lot of drawings from you guys on Instagram where you send me stuff. We all have to remove the stick from our ass. Very important. I also added a small skull just because. No other reason than I like skulls. It's a little bit of a spawn belt buckle. But I think it's looking pretty cool. And talking about keeping it loose, just make lines like these where, where you don't connect all the lines. Especially uh, where the light hits them. It's not really necessary to do this on the underside where there will be shadows anyway, but here it's looking pretty good. And here's the line weight. You can see there's a lot of dynamic in the drawing already just because of the lines, because they are getting from thick to thin towards the light source, which is... Come on, Lawrence, don't be so loud! The light source uh, is coming uh, from above, so the lines are getting thinner towards the light source, and also the value is a little bit lighter towards the light source, and now we will do all the shading. 
Usually my shadings are done like in this one with a lot of comic book style elements. But the trouble I have with this technique on drawings like uh, anime and manga characters like this Sangoku here, uh, the trouble is that the face never... I'm, I'm, I'm with you in a second, Lawrence. Yes, I'm coming! Uh, the face very often looks like it doesn't fit to the body. So I will try the technique I used here, where I used a more realistic kind of shade uh, on this Naruto drawing. I know the forearm is a little bit big, but other than that, I really like the, the technique of the shading. Uh, now I will try to use this right here on this one. You can see it's quite different from what I usually do, um, but it has something. Don't you think? Let me know down, the co down in the comments what you like more. Comic book style like this one or a more realistic looking one uh, in which I will be able to focus more on drawing a Papa face. Papa yes, yes. What? Now you're getting shy. I'm right with you, Lawrence. Uh, I just wanted to finish my sentence here. I wanted to say, in this style, it's easier to draw a anime face, which is looking like it's actually attached on the body then with this technique. So let's go! Okay, so Vegeta is done. All we need now is a background. But first, some quick infos. You could see I've used those two pencils. This is an H pencil and this is a 2B pencil. Um, you can do that with, uh, with only one of those pencils as well. But sometimes it's easier to go in, especially for the strong blacks with an H pencil. It won't smudge as much. You can see the main light source is coming from above. And when I do the background, I will lit up his hands a little bit and they will be a second light source, which you can see here and here, everywhere. But you will see that properly once the background is done, so let's do that! So we are done. You can see I put a lot of life in the background and you can also see that the figurine stands out way better due to the contrast with the dark background. So pretty cool I guess. I really like this shading technique. Please let me know down in the comment section. Do you like it as well? I really like this uh, realistic kind of look but still it would be totally able to ink this so I think this is a pretty neat addition to my style. And just like that we are done with today's video. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate that. Really sorry that I haven't been online for such a long time. I hope I will be able to do more videos uh, in the near future. Anyway. Have a great day, don't forget to draw every day. If you want to see all the reference and in-between steps from this drawing from today, just check out my Instagram account. It's also called Dr. Rocker Art and you will find all the in-between steps right there. Okay, so again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you should be new to the channel. Also leave a like, this is always appreciated. It takes you a second and my channel can grow better. And now I want you to go and watch this video.
In this video I show you the fastest way to draw comics. I think it's a really good video, I have a lot of tips and tricks there, you will learn a lot, you will be able to produce really cool drawings faster, so see you there my friends and have a great day. Thank you. Bye. My name is Dr. Rocker.